Do you have a sink that's clogged and backing up like mine? I'm going to show you how to fix this in under 10 minutes with things you already have in your kitchen. It's so easy to do, you'll wonder why you didn't do it long ago. Let's go to the kitchen and get some supplies. We're going to need paper towels, and then we're going to need something long and skinny we can use to fish down the drain. Let's find something. Ideally, you want something you can throw away after you're done because you probably don't want to use it after it's been down this drain. These chopsticks should work great. You might want to put on some gloves. You don't have to, but it is kind of gross in that drain. Got our supplies from the kitchen. I'm going to start this timer. Let's get going. First, I like to take a towel or something and put it over the handles so I don't accidentally turn the sink on. Now let's get under here. First thing we're going to do is undo the P-trap. That's this curved gooseneck right here. Now you might need some channel locks if, these, if you can't turn these by hand. And I'll include a link. You can pick some up on Amazon if you need them. It's going to drip, so make sure you put a bucket below. Now this is going to be nasty and smelly in here. But changing, fixing it yourself sure beats paying a plumber or waiting for the repair guy to show up. Because it really is so easy. Okay, it doesn't look too bad in here. That's good. Sometimes you'll need to clean out through this gooseneck. But not today. Now, back here, you need to loosen this. This is the part that helps your drain stop or go up and down. And you pull it out. Again, you might need those channel locks if it's hard to get this guy removed. You may need to disconnect the rod from the vertical clevis strap. There can be several styles of clips holding it in place. Now we should be able to get the stopper out. This is going to be a little bit gross. Look at that thing. We're going to clean this out in a few minutes. Looking down this drain, I put a light below. We can barely see it coming up. Now we're going to take some paper towels. I'm going to start fishing them down through there. Before I do that, I might want to take these chopsticks. They should work pretty well. And try and jab down. There's all sorts of hair and gunk. You can just feel it. Okay, now the paper towels. Take your chopsticks and just shove that paper towel down. Kind of nasty. All that hair and gunk, that's what's been stopping the water. There's a chopstick. Now look at the light shining up through there. That is cleaned out. Okay, now if there's nothing hanging out of here, you don't need to worry about taking this part off, but if you needed to, you could take it off here. Okay, we're going to put this back together, but first, let's get this cleaned off. It's got some gunk growing on it. I bet the plumber doesn't want you to know just how easy this is, because there's no need to call a plumber for a basic drain clog if you take care of it before it gets too bad. Okay. Put this in, notice it's the little L. We're gonna put this side back towards that bar. Slide it in like this. Okay, now the trickiest part, getting this rod lined back up. I'm gonna slide it in there and feel around until it fits through that little hole in the end of the drain. Up above, you'll know you've got it in when the drain goes up and down while you're moving it with your hand. Then you gotta get this thread back on. You wanna slide it in, fish around until you feel the drain moving up and down and you get this bar through the little hole at the end. Once you got that, the hardest part is just getting the threads to line up. There we go, now tighten it down. It's fine to do it just finger tight. If the rod was removed, 
from the clevis strap you'll need to reattach with the clip. Then we're going to put our P-trap back on. Loosely put on the second half. Loosely put on the outlet side. And now you go back and forth between the two because you want them both to seal up nicely. So you just tighten one then the other. And just like that. Just need to finger tight it, make them finger tight. Now as we finish, we just want to look for leaks. There you have it, in under 10 minutes, we've got our sink water flowing again. Super easy. Before you pronounce victory, take a paper towel, have the water running through the drain, and look for leaks. You want to find any drips coming out here so you can work on tightening these better to stop the drips. You might also consider leaving your bucket under for a day or two just because you don't want any water leaking out until you're sure you've got it sealed up nicely. How long did it take you to use your paper towels and chopsticks to fix your drain? Leave a comment. Let everybody know how it worked, what went well, what didn't, how long it took you. Was this your first time fixing a clogged drain like this? Who knew it was so easy with things you probably already have in your kitchen? Also, if you want to say thank you, please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. That really does help YouTube promote my videos so other people learn great tips like this. If you want to send a little money my way, you can click the Amazon affiliate link down below. It'll send a small commission when you buy something. It doesn't cost you anything more, but Amazon will send me a little money. So thanks in advance. I'm Mike with Tomahawk DIY. I hope you have a great day.